Hello and welcome to another episode of Adam's Teaching on Trust TV. I am Adam Mani Angora, your host. In this program where we teach how to cook different kind of food. In today's episode, we are going to prepare what is called the biscuit of Brno. Whatever it is, follow me and you will get to know it. But before we start, let us go for a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back. So, as I said it earlier on, we are making the biscuit of Borno. Some people call it brabisco. The ingredients needed for this recipe are wheat, some vegetables, potatoes, pepper, some bell pepper, some tomatoes, some chili pepper, seasoning and salt, and of course oil. So in this situation, we are going to use vegetable oil. We are also going to make use of some ginger and spring onions. And also for the protein, we are going to use beef. And also we need some amount of water. Now, this is an option. If you like, you can use millet or any grain such as corn and rice the first step is of course to wash our grain but then let me explain something here as you can see the grain has been grinded but not smooth of course is uh, loosely grinded and um, Whatever you use, whether it is millet or corn or guinea corn um, or rice, you can just go ahead and um, grind it loosely. And then make sure you wash it very well, you rinse it. And the best practice is before grinding the grains, it should be thoroughly washed against any dirt or stones and so on there after washing it then you uh, dry it well and then you take it for grinding and then after getting it grinded now you begin by washing it you know you rinse it and remove anything that isn't wanted inside of it as you can see now that I'm washing it and draining the water. You can see. Our next step is we have a steamer because this is going to be steamed. And alongside my steamer, I'm going to use sack which I will place gently inside my steamer and then I will now begin to remove you know the um, grinded uh, wheat <clears throat> in my situation today I'm using wheat okay so you can see and then I will gently place it inside of my steamer of course, after removing the water content. So that's it. Now that my wheat is well placed inside of the steamer, the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure that I cover it really well. I cover the um, sheet of this sack really, really well, like this. Okay. And then 
I'll now cover the steamer. I have already added my grinded wheat inside of the steamer and I have started my fire. We are now going to allow this to continue to cook for the next 45 minutes to one hour. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is to prepare a kind of sauce that will be served with the um, biscuit. So, um, first of all, I have my beef here, which I am cutting it into some thinner slices. And then let me uh, go ahead and start my fire, you know, and um, begin to fry the meat. So, as the plate, you know, the pan is getting hot, I'll just go ahead and add some oil in it. Not too much oil. And then I will add some salt to my meat. Yes. Um, and then, so I have now cut my beef, which I'm going to fry here. I'll give it give it um, low heat, you know, frying. What I want to do here is to brown each side of the beef. Okay, and then I'll bring over my potatoes, which I will cut into four pieces. Each piece of potato, I'll cut it into four. Some people might be wondering, what is biscuit? Now, biski is a word derived from the language called Borno or Kanuri. This is a language widely spoken in northeastern Nigeria, especially around Borno, Meduguri, of course, and Yobi. And also, the language is spoken in our neighboring country of Chad, you know, and I guess over there, <clears throat> that's why they call it porno, and also you can call it canuri. So the word biski obra busco means something light, something less heavy. The whole idea behind this is that traditionally people eat heavy food in order to um, be able to get much energy and work very well at farm and maybe other um, dutiful work. Now, usually people eat swallow, which is the heaviest um, food. But then there are situations where heavy food is not much needed, you know, especially after um, getting work done from farm and then coming back home. So they now created the idea of, okay, how about creating something simple, something light, but at the same time using the same grains that are used to make swallow. When I say swallow, it's something called tuo, popularly known as tuo in Hausa language, but generally in, in Nigeria we call it swallow. So the lighter version of swallow was now uh, on the mission to be created. So they come up with this, you know, those who understand Kanuri or uh, Borno definitely will know much better than me. So now this um, dish is being created, biski, you know, simple, light. As I said before, some people will use um, millet, you know, to make it. Some use corn or guinea corn or rice. These are grains that are used in making swallow. Now, by using the same grain to make biski, it means you are eating swallow, but in a much more um, lighter way. So whatever nutritional value you get from swallow, 
you equally get it from Bisky. Now, um, as it's known, usually Bisky is served in the evening. It's usually evening food. You know, as I said, the idea behind it is to make something light, which means in the evening, you know, after coming back from home or from uh, dutiful work, you may not want to eat something heavy because you already had something heavy in the afternoon or morning. So this lighter version of swallow is much preferred in the evening time. And also, um, it is a kind of dish that is often associated with royalty. You know, kings usually um, are people that are given special food. And of course, by giving a king swallow, you know, it's something that seems a bit heavy. And uh, even though the objective is to get the nutritional value of those grains, now this lighter version of swallow is made to serve king so you can just see bisky as a lighter version of swallow so now i'm getting my meat you know fried and i'll go ahead and cut the spring onions you know to desired amount So you can see the meat is getting fried. And as I said before, what I was trying to get here is to get this brown color in the meat. And at this point, I can take my meat off the fire and bring this pot and now put it on the fire. And again, you know, the um the bell pepper i'm going to chop the bell pepper but into bigger chunks you know into bigger sizes not really really small sizes like this small one you can see i did cut it into two equal parts and then like this one i'll cut it into like say four so it's going to be you know much bigger in size than usual so here it is and also the chili peppers i'm going to cut it much bigger in size okay and uh, you can see i will cut it almost the same size with the bell pepper so the pan is now getting hot that i can go ahead and add some oil in it and you can see that the amount of oil that i put is not that much good so what i want is now to begin to fry the potatoes and get that golden brown color but only after the oil has gotten hot, then I'll begin to um, add the potatoes. This potato sauce or soup, I could say, is going to be really nice, really amazing. The red pepper, you know, it looks so tiny, so small, but it's going to be really, really spicy. And this one, I will cut each into two. The sauce is going to be really, really spicy. But then there is something also to take note of here. You know, when serving bisky, um, you can serve it with any type of soup, you know, or sauce. Whether it is um, this uh, drawy or drawing, you know, uh, slimy, um soup or mere toshi that, that is pumpkin soup or any vegetable soup 
you know uh, a goosey soup also is uh, a good choice so feel free to serve it with any soup of your choice but the most commonly used um, soup or sauce um, to eat biscuit with um, a vegetable or granite um, soup pumpkin soup one of the best options as well but in our case today we are making um, a sort of a potato a sauce with beef and it's gonna be really really spicy because you can see the amount of pepper that I'm using it's really much that is what is going to make it really spicy and um, now some tomatoes you know to help us reduce the you know heat of the uh, pepper so i'm going to use some tomatoes and also the tomatoes I, I'm, I'm going to cut the tomatoes also into much bigger uh, sizes you know much bigger slices like this So the soup is not going to be something really fancy, but it's going to be something really tasty, something really amazing. And also, again, you know, um, for diabetic patients, you know, one good thing about this uh, menu is that you can use uh, wheat, you know, to prepare it instead of using any other grain that is uh, uh, not good for diabetic patients. So you can always go with the choice of wheat. Now, my oil has gotten really hot. So what I will now do is to go ahead and add my potatoes in it. And then I'll continue to stir fry it until I get that really beautiful brown color that I'm looking for. So while it is getting fried, I will be stirring it gently, okay? You know, this dish, you know, I want to make someone cry. You know, I want people to eat it and begin to cry. I just hope that I will not be the first person to cry while testing it, you know? But please, if in case, while testing the finished food i cry don't laugh at me please okay um here we go now we continue to give it a steer oops where did it go i just did that and then i will now add some salt here and then continue to give it heat um, and it's actually low heat that I'm giving it and our biscuit is on fire let us be checking it to be sure that we are moving in the right direction yes we really are I can, I can cover it again but let me just do a little thing and just it a bit and see what is going on here wow it's looking absolutely stunning really really amazing you can see and something um, to take note of is while cooking this to be able to know whether it's ready or not the best way to understand the magic is when you begin to smell the fragrance you know of the chosen grain that you put inside of the steamer like now that i'm using wheat by the time i begin to smell that amazing uh, fragrance of the wheat that point i know that my biscuit is getting ready or is almost ready or even 100 percent ready so i'll continue to give my potatoes fire until I get that golden brown color. And 
while I do this, um, let us go for a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back. In case you are just joining us, you must have really missed a lot, but I'm very sure that you'll be able to catch up. You are watching Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV, where we are preparing the biscuit of Borno to be served with potato sauce. So, my potato um, has gotten the somehow golden brown color that I was looking for. And at this time, what I will now go ahead and do is to add my spring onions in it. So at this point, I will now go ahead and add some water in it. And uh, we'll cover it for some time before I add the rest of the ingredients that are here waiting for my action. So what I'll do is I will cover this for like five to seven minutes before I add the rest of the ingredients. So let's give it some time. Okay. Let me check my biscuit first and see um, what we are getting here. You know, I've already started smelling the cool, awesome, fine, lovely fragrance coming from this um, biscuit. Wow. See. Looking so beautiful and it tastes really delicious. And what I'll do here now is that our biscuit is done we'll take it off the fire first okay before i proceed with something you no know, that's something that i'm going to show you now but before then let me add the rest of my ingredients here and also add some water I'll go ahead and add some salt and then get it covered. So I will now take my biscuit off the steamer and place it here. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is to now you see this water that I used for making the biscuit, I will now reserve some of it here. I will now add a little amount of oil. And then I'll turn my fire on. So what I will do here is I will allow this water to begin to make bubbles, to boil. And then I will now add my biscuit inside of the water. Remember my previous explanation that this is in itself also swallow, but a lighter version of swallow. Now you can see that my water is boiling. So I will now go ahead and take my biscuit and put it inside of the water. And then I will use my spatula to break it down so that it does not become swallow. And the essence of adding this oil is to make sure that I spread and break this thing and it doesn't go back to stick to each other because we want it really light. We want, it, we want to see it um, uh, separated from each other, you know. You can allow it to continue to cook for about 20 minutes before serving. So I will just allow it to be on fire for, say, five minutes. And then it is all good. 
So this is it. I'll now cover it and give it some more time before I turn off my fire. With that, I will now come here and check my sauce, you know, which is looking absolutely fantastic. So my biscuit is 100% done, 100%. I can go ahead and now turn off my fire and now turn here and add my vegetable. It is the last piece that I'm going to add. And then let me stir it first. And then now I cover it, give it just two to three more minutes before serving. So our dish is now ready for serving. And here we go. Moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Biski of Borno. So, that is it. This is our Biski of Borno that we have just served. And before I say anything else, let me quickly grab my spoon. No. Get some amount of soup. And this is just another style. If you like, you can just pour everything together in one plate and eat. But if you also want, you can just serve these things, you know, separate, separately and then begin to enjoy you know begin to eat see some potato you know, some beef here and then since it is the moment of truth let's see what we can get here i just hope it's not too hot that it will hurt me oh Hmm. Hmm. This is a new world. And please do give it a try. I'm sure that you are going to love it. With this, we have brought to an end the episode of today and it is our hope that you will always continue to um, watch learn and practice with us Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV my name is Adam Mani Ongora as usual and I say bye for now <laughs>